Hello everyone, this is Misha with Connecting Kindly. We are back to do the tour of our container bed garden here. James is out here getting the the good uh, purple hull peas. Blessings to everyone. Please like and subscribe. I'm putting the uh, dry ones in my bag so that we can use them for seed. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, the uh, purple hull peas are continuing to uh, bear, but you know that you got a lot of sticks. So I think they are uh, pretty close, James, fighting the walls. Uh, I think that they are pretty close to uh, finishing with the bearing, so, um, you don't think so? Nope. Okay, well, James says he thinks they're going to keep going, but you do notice you see a lot of the, um, like, sticks, empty sticks in the bed. So, this is our first time growing them, so we're not sh uh, for sure, you know, what we're looking at, because this is our first time around. Um, the uh, jumbo jalapeno plant has uh, lots of peppers. Here's a nice size one. Let's see if I can pull this back so y'all can see it. See, that's a nice size one. We're gonna let them stay out here because we picked uh, a handful this weekend, but I think we were supposed to um, let them grow a little bit bigger. Here's some little small ones there. Okay, so this is the other bed. Now this one uh, you can notice it's starting to turn brown and stuff. I think this one is pretty close to um, Yeah, I think this one is pretty close to being finished. Uh, we're gonna grab the uh, dry ones We're gonna use those for seed uh, For next year. We've got a little mason jar growing. I mean going with uh, seeds in there now the bed that we planted the greens This is what's coming up so far um, I don't know why um, just this little patch has come up, but we're thankful for this. Um, and these look healthy. So, but we'll be planting some more. And then also down here in this spot here, uh, we're thinking about adding, uh, another, uh, container bed. So, uh, cause James said he don't think he's going to go ahead and do the, um, watermelon again, because we can get that um pretty cheap in our area and pr pretty uh plentiful so okay so let's go on down see what else we got going and y'all remember over here in this little thing i planted the yellow watermelon and every day come up i guess next year i need to just go ahead and probably uh put it in uh start them off inside and then transplant them uh the eggplant i think is just about finished but maybe not because we've got a uh a bloom there so we'll see what that does all right guys cucumber plant is finished um james sweet potatoes have taken over their area like they do every year um and i did get a chance to pick uh a small pot of sweet potato leaves and try them um here's the other two containers over here um, and they were good. They taste just like spinach in case anybody else wants to uh, try the sweet potato leaves. They are, uh, they taste just like spinach and they have the same texture as spinach. Okay, so we thought, or at least I thought, the tomatoes were finished. But I guess since the weather has cooled off, um, they have started to bear again. We have blooms um, and we have uh, tomatoes this uh, one here has fallen over, but you can see, at least I think you can, you can see that has little tomatoes here, some nice sized ones. Uh, hold on guys, up in there. So the tomatoes have got a second wind. Okay. Um, the little pepper plants are about finished. We've got one little plant pepper on this one here we've got to pick. Look at this, even the strawberries uh, perk back up since the weather cooled off, which I know they're finished bearing, but you know. Um, this bed here, uh, we planted um, greens here. Nothing has come up. I think we're gonna have to actually uh, change the soil out in this bed because nothing seems to be growing 
in this bed so uh, that'll be a next project we're gonna have to clear this out and and start again so and that's the benefit of having the uh, container beds it's a little bit easier you know to um, you know change the soil out you know with the container bed uh, or James said we'll add some fertilizer to it we'll see um, sadly to say uh, the nice honeydew milling that I had over there uh, did get stolen by uh, I don't know what type of critter but I didn't even get a chance to get it so that's gone creek is looking good today um oh i forgot to see the okra it's uh finished barren so we'll clean all these little uh you know uh containers out and um do some cleanup uh, for the things that are finished barren and then we'll go ahead and um start planting um our uh, plants, you know, for the uh, cooler season that's coming up. So James has quite a few purple hole peas. I think um, so far from these beds, uh, let's see what he's got, guys. Oh, wow, look, bro. Let's see. Can you see how many that is, everybody? Let's see. Oh, wow, that's a Okay, so um, I think in the freezer, what, we have about six quarts in there? Yeah. Yeah, about six quart size bags uh, of purple hull peas. So, um, okay, hold on. This is my bag with the dried peas. Okay. So, um, that's, yeah, that's more than he's picked. So, if you guys are purple hull pea lovers, um, you know, this is a good um, resilient plant um, that yielded uh, quite a few. Uh, purple hull peas and it's still yielding for us so we are um so you know on these that this will be something yeah james is getting the ones that we're saving for seed but this will be something that we'll be doing every year from now on because it did so well so but okay guys so this is the tour um those are our updates um i did get some comments from uh some of you guys letting me know what you're going to be planning and um you know i do want to try some new plants uh as well so keep the comments coming keep the feedback coming um you know you guys stay blessed and safe and um you know we'll talk to you guys again soon if all goes well james you gonna say bye to everybody bye. <laughs>